Hi, welcome back. It is Saturday evening, September 16th, and the moving process has progressed a little bit. It turns out I'm actually basically moving all of my stuff tomorrow. I think I mentioned this in previous vlogs, my boyfriend's going away for work, so we are moving all of my stuff before he goes away for work. The U-Haul is tomorrow, all my friends are helping, and his brother who lives there now is actually also moving out tomorrow so it is working out that i will be fully moved in tomorrow i still obviously have my place until the end of the month so i will be slowly bringing in like the last little bits i'm not like super stressed about getting everything moved tomorrow but as much of it as i can obviously since i have the help so that's what i've been doing i've been taking loads over there all day it's been quite the process. I was kind of hoping to have a little bit more time, but this honestly works out very, very well. I don't know, there's boxes everywhere. Many hours later, this day went by so fast. I didn't feel any of the moving process. There was six of us and it was all done in about two hours, which is amazing. I am so grateful for my friend's help. And everything is in here. There is still quite a bit of my kitchen stuff like food, a little bit of like dishware, that sort of thing at my old place, as well as a piece, couple pieces of furniture that I'm gonna sell. Just like some odds and ends, plus all of my clothes that are hanging in my closet. All of my like folded dresser clothes are here, but I'm gonna be doing quite a few back and forth still, but I obviously have my place until the end of the month, so I have lots of time to clean and get everything over here. The living room right now is so chaotic. <laughs> Everything is very chaotic. This place, while it is roughly the same size, the storage is, there's a lot less storage. And obviously I'm living with my boyfriend now, so we have double the amount of stuff. So I'm probably gonna have to get rid of a lot of things. <laughs> also this amazing pimple who's decided to pop up. Honestly, relatively smooth process. I'm kind of hitting a wall now, it's 3.30. My boyfriend has been moving his brother and now it's kind of the fun part of unpacking, but also I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed because I'm realizing that I don't have spaces for everything yet. I did set up my desk space because I actually have to finish editing a vlog tonight, so I'm going to do as much home stuff as possible and then I'll get to work, even though it's Sunday, but I just didn't have time during the week to finish it up, so that's sort of what's happening. I will show you a little bit of the space. Uh, once things are a little bit more clear, I personally do not feel the need to show you the space as it is right now. It's really just a mess. There's just shit everywhere. So I'll give you another update once things are a little bit more sorted and kind of resemble a living space. My skin is so bad. Oh well. Is what it is. Yeah. You see? Okay, it's been a minute since I vlogged and some progress has been made. Um, I'll show you a little bit of what's going on, but it's still primarily chaos. Okay, so couch is here, has always been here. My little desk station there. Here's the fireplace. I think the TV is going above it, unfortunately. There's not a ton of other options for places for the TV to go. And then we have this little nook here, which I'm obsessed with, where my antique cabinet is. And we hung up the mirror today, but honestly, that's about it. I have put away most of the dishes here. I also finally have a little lamp in my kitchen, I love. And then we've got mugs and cups in this one. I hate this so much, but I have to live with it. Good morning, I just finished hot yoga. Another very sweaty class. Um, and now I'm freezing. It's like weird. The sweat is dripping down me and the cold air is coming past. I got myself a smoothie because I'm gonna go straight to the grocery store 
need to do kind of like a full restock because I don't really have anything in my new place. And I want to make breakfast for once. <laughs> so I am going to go grocery shopping. I also really do not like the grocery store that's right by my house, unfortunately. Um, but with that being said, I usually do big grocery shops at other stores normally, like even at my old place. Also, I guess I can finally tell you where I was living in Victoria because I'm not living there anymore. I lived in James Bay. I am assuming a lot of people who lived in Victoria could recognize where I was living. Maybe not. I don't know. And I loved it. It's just really busy. It's really loud. Um, the horse carriages are annoying as hell. I truly hated the horse carriages. Not to mention just like I don't agree with what they're doing, but they're just also really loud. I really miss, I think the main thing I'm going to miss is being so close to the beach and being so close to Dallas and I used to walk along there every all the time, but obviously I'm still very close so I can just drive over, but, or even go on a really long walk over too, but yeah, I lived in James Bay, Jimmy B, and I'm definitely going to miss it, but there's a lot of things about it that I will not miss. There, I definitely don't know if I would like recommend it as a neighborhood, I don't think I'd ever live in James Bay again. I think. If I, in my dream world, in my dream fantasy, I live in Rockland, in a beautiful home in Rockland, but that will never happen. I will never be able to afford a home in Rockland, but that is my favorite neighborhood in Victoria, is Rockland. I think it's so beautiful and magical and, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go to the grocery store. I'm feeling good today. I was feeling really not good yesterday, and then I went over to Sarah's house and we chatted for a bit, and I truly feel a million times better. There is nothing like just being with your best friend, you know? Okay, someone's pulling in behind me, so I should go. Okay, good morning. I took a couple days off from vlogging because I'm honestly feeling quite overwhelmed by this whole move. I also bought some new makeup products. This is the Milk Makeup Future Fluid All Over Concealer. I got it in shade 7NW. I feel like I could potentially do one lighter shade when I'm, when we're in full winter mode. I don't know. But so far I like it. It has been a little bit more of an adjustment than I was anticipating in that it kind of feels like a breakup, which in a lot of ways makes sense. That place, my old apartment, shall I say, was my home for four years. This is too bright. That other place was my home for four years. And it was my first apartment that actually wasn't. It wasn't my first apartment that I lived in by myself, you may have remembered years and years ago, seven years ago when I first moved here, I lived in a little studio apartment by myself, but this previous apartment was the first apartment that I like had paid for all on my own, like with no student loans or any sort of additional income that was coming to me that wasn't money that I was earning on my own. And so that also had its impact on my attachment to this place and what it meant and what it symbolized for me as a person so that was a big change for me and also just like getting used to a new neighborhood and i don't have to explain to you the ins and outs of going through a move it's just been a little i think i th i think i felt like i was so ready for this move but in reality i don't think i was fully maybe taking into account all the different aspects of the move so i do feel a lot better it's been officially one week but this week has felt so long, one of the longest weeks of my life. I really like this concealer. I haven't been hugely motivated to pick up my camera and chat. I've just been kind of really in my head about a lot of things. And so that has been impacting my work negatively, which then I get into a spiral about how much I should be working and blah, blah, blah. I think there's lots of other aspects and factors involved in this move that have really made me see this as a far bigger transition than I was originally anticipating. I think moving in with a partner and someone who I see and he sees as somebody I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with is also just a huge change and kind of this switch into this extremely independent life that I was living, living alone and 
not that obviously we didn't spend a ton of time together there before but now we're spending every single day together and i think there's an aspect of that that is also just a little bit of a change it's just a big change overall it's just a big change i do thrive in change i moved a lot as a kid and i really really found that that's where i was um i realized that it was a skill of mine to be really adaptable and resilient and i think those are great qualities to have and i really admire them about myself but I think with that also comes a sense of needing to be strong and needing to be sort of unemotional towards certain things and I've realized in this past week or so that I'm very emotional to a lot of these things and a lot of these changes and I'm kind of just letting myself feel them and um, not being so hard on myself and being a little bit more patient with how things have been going. Um, okay, eyebrows. I've been actually using this Ilia um, eyebrow pencil in taupe. Um, to do my brows. I might do this off camera because my I'm gonna have to get really gonna have to get really close to my mirror. I apologize that the lighting is not good. Definitely something I'm gonna need to figure out for this bathroom, but there's also been a lot of other things going on work related wise and I feel like sometimes it's a little bit unsavory to talk about my work things on YouTube because this is my job and so I'm I'm always making that assumption that people don't want to come on here and hear me talk about my work, which is literally the act of you consuming this. I think that that has been kind of messing with my head a little bit. Still using this Milk Makeup bronzing stick. I really like it still. And also my skin has been breaking out really badly. My tan is gone. I feel just not as confident as that I usually feel. And the last thing I want to do when I'm not feeling confident is see myself um, <laughs> and I don't know, find more ways to pick myself apart. So that's another thing that has been kind of going on that has been um, challenging for me. And I've had a couple of really big projects, which I'm so grateful for, but they've been really rushed. The timelines for them have been really short, which um, I find as a creator really frustrating when um, brands sometimes want really fast turnaround times. Um, and so I don't feel 100% proud of my work and, and that obviously impacts my self-esteem and my confidence and how I feel about myself in this job and you know I'm just hitting a big spiral <laughs> is essentially what is happening. I'm trying to reconcile with all these different things and all these different factors going into my life right now which are feeding into how I feel right now and really trying to do my best in validating those things but also understanding that a lot of it is in my head and I'm really being in my head right now. And so I hope that soon I find um, a passion again to like get me to this next step that I want to get to. And I think it is happening slowly but surely. I think I just need to be a little bit more patient with myself. But in this industry and in many other industries, sometimes there's not time to really reflect inwards and um, take the time to let yourself be creative again and that can be really challenging and it's something I, 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 I struggle with a lot is um, doing things that I'm proud of and creating things that I'm proud of but also you know doing things that are with a certain frequency which means that I can you know pay my bills and XYZ so that's another thing that has been going on and again I apologize if this is not what you're coming here for but I think this is um, a, such a unique situation in that if I had a different job I probably would also be talking about it on YouTube um, assuming that I would work that job and also do YouTube and so because it's all blended into one sometimes this is what I have to say and this is what I want to share. I actually got a new blush. I treated myself to this. I've been wanting to try. I always I find that in fall and winter I'm leaning towards um, powdered blushes again. So I got this Dior um, Rouge blush in the number 959 and it's not matte, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, and it's kind of like a peachy, I don't know how I describe this, but um, I really love it, and it, I like that it's not matte, because I find that, because I don't wear a highlight, I actually really like the way that this looks, and it's a little bit more of like a glow. It's really pigmented, I can't, I can't even barely even see it on my brush, and it shows up really nicely, so I got that. <laughs> There has also been, do we like that? Is that enough blush? I think so. I am a little bit washed out in this screen, I've noticed. There's also been this aspect of, um, oh my god, I forgot under eye concealer. 
something wrong. I usually do that after my brows. I also got this, which I showed in a previous vlog, I think. The um, YSL under eye concealer. With the hourglass brush. I don't know. There's just a lot. There's a lot going on. I know I'm being in my head about a lot of it. So this is just to show and maybe connect with any of you or all of you that transitions are hard and they create this space, I think, for us to question ourselves and our decisions and our, or just everything. I don't know. I feel like this has been a time where I'm really questioning everything. My, my job, my, you know, but I will say that one thing, and I have reminding myself, the one thing that I am certain of is my partner. I'm certain of my friends. I'm certain of my family. And those things bring me a lot of confidence in that I know that those are relationships that mean a lot to me and I am, am good at fulfilling those relationships and I'm good at being fulfilled by those relationships and that is something that I don't want to let, like, let go of. And I do want to remind myself that I know I am good at this job and I've been presented with some opportunities recently that have really kind of underscored that. One of which I got invited to an Hermes event, which is just beyond. And if you're thinking, oh my God, how the hell did she get invited to that? I'm thinking the same thing, but kind of just tokens to show that I'm doing the right thing and I'm moving in the right direction and, you know, everything will work out in the end. Also, I have really dry under eyes and I really find that that's, that concealer is really nice and it doesn't accentuate my dry skin at all, which is great. And I've been really loving the Ilia Limitless Mascara. I've actually been wearing mascara a little bit more recently, I think in an, an attempt to make myself feel a little bit more confident about the way I look. So I'm gonna do that after I get dressed because I always worry that I'm gonna mess up my mascara. And then I also will put on my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel after I get dressed as well. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. I am hoping that my next video will be a little bit more cheery. And I'm obviously, I want to reiterate that I'm so excited to be in this home and it already feels so much like a home to me. And, you know, putting stuff away and thinking about how I'm going to decorate has been extremely exciting. And I'm really looking forward to experiencing this home in all different seasons and, um, you know, with different people and creating new memories here. I'm really grateful, but I'm I'm definitely not going to... Um, pretend like I'm not very sad that I left my own place, which I know is a completely normal thing. I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I feel like there is this um, pull for me to start something new and I think that this is the natural end and I want to thank you all for being here. I would not be here without you and I would not have all these incredible opportunities without you. I'm not going to get emotional. I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but um, I'm so thankful. I was not expecting this. <laughs> I'm so thankful every day that this is my job and every day I'm trying to find new ways to have it really reflect who I am and figure out how I fit into this space in a way that really feels authentic to me and I hope that you guys can see that and that it comes through in that way because I do keep a lot of things private and I'm always trying to find new ways to really show you who I am because I think that this is such a small aspect of my life that maybe sometimes you don't always get that. Thank you for being here. <laughs> and I will see all of your beautiful faces in the next one.